If you're a geek or you're looking to give a good gift to a geek, then look no further. This is the Raspberry Pi 3. It's a single board computer that's the size of a credit card. And as the name suggests, it's pretty sweet. That's, that's a horrible joke. It has a ton of uses from learning how to program to DIY media centers to maybe the best of all, which I'll show you how to do in this video today, turning it into your own retro gaming console. This will allow you to play nearly any game from old school consoles like Atari to Super Nintendo to PlayStation and a lot more in between. You can get the Raspberry Pi for as little as $35 on Amazon right now, but what I have here is the number one bestseller, which I'll link to below. It's the Canakit Raspberry Pi 3 Complete Starter Kit 32GB Edition. It's the one I recommend because it comes with everything you need to get started. So let's get into it. Here's how to set up a Raspberry Pi 3 as your own retro gaming machine. First, you'll need to install the Raspberry Pi board into the Canakit case that's included in the kit. It's very easy to do, just snaps right in there. Next, you'll need to insert the micro SD card into the micro SD card reader, then connect it to your PC or Mac. Download the free RetroPie image file and a free SD card image writer for your system. Links for Windows and Mac are listed below. Use the SD card image writer to apply the RetroPie image file onto the micro SD card, then eject it when it is finished. Insert the micro SD card into your Raspberry Pi micro SD slot, and finally connect the HDMI cable and the power adapter. Now you can either connect a regular keyboard and mouse if you want to play old school PC games, but you'll eventually want a USB gaming controller like this PlayStation one for the specific games you want to play. I'll leave links to the best USB controllers below. When the Raspberry Pi is connected to power, it will start up and you'll see it boot into the emulation station. Then you'll need to configure your keyboard or controller. After you configure the buttons on your controller, you should now see the RetroPie home screen. From here, you can go into your settings and connect the Raspberry Pi to your Wi-Fi network if you have one, or connect Bluetooth devices. The last part is getting ROMs. Now, ROMs are basically digital files of games that you can find online. Now, the rule is simple. Only download ROMs for the games that you physically own. So I can't provide you the links to the websites that host the ROMs, but with a simple Google search, you'll be able to find them pretty easily. Once you have the ROMs downloaded on your Mac or PC, copy them to the correct console folder in the ROMs folder on your Raspberry Pi, either over the network or using a USB flash drive. Since mine is connected to Wi-Fi, I just copied over the network from my Mac. Now, once the ROMs are copied, restart the Raspberry Pi, and there you go. You should be able to choose the game and start playing. By the way, Donkey Kong is the best Super Nintendo game ever. Hands down, no questions asked. If you have any other suggestions, I'm happy to hear them. Comment down below. So that's how to set up a Raspberry Pi as your own retro gaming console. Again, all the links and even more detailed instructions are listed in the description below, so check that out. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and make sure you subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And the holidays are right around the corner, so I think this would be a great gift for a geek that's in your family, or maybe for even yourself if you like to game. If you're, if you're like me, you just grew up with all these old school games. It's gonna be really fun holiday season. I wish you all the best. I'll see you in the next video.